What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I want to go over the results of the Disc Golf Pro Tour Portland Open presented by Dynamic Discs. Um, our boy Eagle did sneak away with the win. The end of this tournament was really exciting. It was looking like Kevin Jones was actually going to come out and win the event. And we're going to look at the clip where the tournament uh, really turned around for Kevin Jones. I'm going to give my thought as to you know, what I think happened for Kevin, and I'm sure he was devastated when it happened, and everyone was pretty much thinking Kevin Jones was gonna win this thing, and he wound up dropping like four strokes on one hole, and uh, we're gonna watch that hole, and you guys can give your thoughts in the comment section down below, but for, before we get fully started with the video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button, and yeah, let's just watch this clip, and then we'll sort of go over everything else um, to do with the tournament. At 380 into the green. He might not have rolled at 700. He, like Eagle did, but he blew. We'll turn the music down during the drone flight just so we don't get a copyright claimed for the music. Teen, par three. This is the toughest hole we have left. So much mm. potential for out of bounds. Yeah, maybe the da most dangerous because this tee shot could just be a nightmare. What was, was the wind more than doing? maybe. I mean, this this is just a. Was it a was yeah. it a straight headwind? Yeah, it was definitely blowing. Headwind, right to left. Lay up to the right. So you can either go for the green off the tee, and it's basically a big island completely surrounded by OB. There's golf green around there. Um, there's sand trap over there, and it's really easy to go out of bounds in this drive. So Kevin Jones plays the safe shot, so he has a nice short up shot towards the basket. The basket also sits atop that little hill, which leaves so much potential. If you airball your putt, you're pretty much guaranteed to go out of bounds. So he's taking that out of play just by playing the safe shot. Or to the left. That's the <clears throat> smart play. Two shots. The play was no need to attack any of that danger. This is going to be out of bounds. Unless it's so bad that it actually hyzers back left safe. No. There's so much out of bounds over there on that long left side. It's a nice design in that way. Yeah. Like if you do bail, start bailing left, it's just more and more OB waiting for you over there. We've seen Eagle get there with this wide forehand. Is he going to be able to do it with today's win? Really put some pressure. Hardest on hole. Park job. Hardest hole in the day. Sorry, I need to cut you off. But hardest hole in the day. Three, eight, one average. That is harder than we've seen any other hole play all week, including hole one. Eagle. Eagle's just. one of the few people. Eagle's one of the few people in the world that has enough forehand power to actually go for it with a forehand. That's a really amazing shot. Barely crossing over that line there. Wow. Well, what about Kevin just kind of staying in his own lane? Absolutely. Laying up to the left? I mean, Beautiful that's a really tough play to make in that situation, especially with the guys chasing him that are chasing him. You know what I'm saying? And, and to be able to lay up and just say, you know what? Par is good for me. I think it's a great play. Kevin going across here. Just needs to get down. Go in. That's the right miss. He's, he's a little bit long, obviously, but has to make sure to clear that tall grass. Oh, man, the wind really picking up. At this point, Eagle thinks the tournament's over. He thinks Kevin's pretty much got it locked in. Simon now for bogey, and look at that, just electing to take the five here, and that's pretty smart there. Anything can happen. Obviously, with that mound in the wind. Well, no harm, no foul. Just yeah. at least it stayed in bounds. You yep. can easily hit and roll OB or, or something like that. So This for bogey. Oh, Sit. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, wow. No, no, no. That's disgusting. How on That's earth insane. can you even breathe after something like that happens? Playing it safe. And 
now this putt is for a six. Wow, and I, oh my gosh. I avoided all spoilers. I didn't, I don't know. I did not know that was coming. That was the slowest roll. Terrible yes. luck. That was a really actually not a bad putt. Caught a lot of chains on yeah. the left side. Oh, the yeah. wind just pushes it out, lands on the worst angle ever, and then just slow rolls its way. And he's still got a little oh left gosh, for that. Yeah. I mean, oh my gosh. So it ends up a seven. And that's it. Playing Mom. it safe. I mean, that's there's not enough holes left for him to come back from a mistake like that. That's the right play. In that situation, you're taking a, a double bogey out of play by playing it safe. He just, there's no way you lay up that putt for par from inside the circle. There's no way you lay up. So now we have a battle between Ricky, Eagle, and Paul McBeth shot a super hot round. So Paul McBeth actually finished at 20 under par as well. So we have basically a three-way tie for first. And uh, we all know how it ended up. Eagle McMahon takes the win. Ricky Wysocki got the clutch birdie on the hardest hole in the course to solidify, you know, he, he put himself in a, in a position where he could win this tournament. And if Eagle doesn't birdie the last hole or he chains out like he did in the Portland Open, you know, the last time he was here and he had to do that playoff against Drew Gibson and Drew Gibson wound up winning, Eagle was able to get redemption. He made the putt. It was a super fluttery, scary putt. We weren't sure if it was going to go in, um, but Eagle drains the putt. He gets his third disc golf pro tour win. Congratulations to Eagle. He's on fire. He's rapidly becoming the best player in the world. And he has a skill set that's unmatched. There's not anybody in the planet that can do some of the things that Eagle can do with a disc. Uh, Paul McBeth had a really amazing showing as well. And Brody Smith, actually, I'm going to shout him out. He came in 13th place, tied with Kyle Klein, Jeremy Coling, and Andrew Presnell. Um, Brody Smith is still new to disc golf. He's still... I mean, he shot a 999 rated 69 for his first round, so he obliterated this course. If he didn't shoot the 69, you know, he's right in there for the win at the end of the tournament, which is a crazy thing to say. So if he didn't shoot so badly the first day, he would have been in a position to actually battle for the win on this last round. Um, so congratulations to Brody, almost cracking a top 10 finish, just, you know, one shot out of the top 10, which is absolutely insane. Um, Simon Lazar, it's really exciting to see him play. We got to see him play through the entire tournament. He was right from the feature card all the way up to lead card every single round. He wasn't super happy with his putting, but I think his game's in a really good place. And I'm actually really enjoying seeing Simon Lazar play safe golf. Uh, but with all that being said, congratulations to Eagle. Congratulations to Simon for be being in the top 10 after being so out of practice and still not fully 100%. And congratulations to Brody. Um, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Uh, who are you excited to see? Who, who did you want to win this tournament? Are you happy Eagle won? Did you want Ricky to win? Uh, were you able to watch the coverage yet and see how exciting the finish was? Leave it on the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. This is Iceberg TV and take care.